Hi, I'm Nate. I'm with The Little Rebellion. And today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to make a nice three-course Valentine's Day dinner for two on a $40 budget. So, for starters, we're going to get the dessert going because it needs about an hour to chill in the fridge. The dessert is dark chocolate mousse with strawberries. So, we're going to go with packaged chocolate mousse because it's cheaper and we're trying to stay on a budget. One cup of cold milk. So now that the mousse is in the freezer getting firm, we're going to start with the main course. And first of our sides is roast red potatoes, which we boiled here to get nice and soft. Right? Fork in. Good. Okay. So we've got our potatoes, a little oil, some spices. We're going to put them in the oven a little bit, let them get nice and crispy on the outside. Okay, so now that the potatoes are in the oven, we're going to get started with the rest of our main course, which is going to be asparagus and tender beef with a small mushroom peppercorn sauce. So we're going to start making the sauce. Here we have butter in the pan already, and beef stock, a little bit of flour, mushrooms of course, and peppercorns. So first thing goes in is the butter, and we're going to make a thickening sauce called a roux with butter flour. We're going to start gently adding in the stock a little bit. Keep stirring it the whole time through. Usually use a pan that has a handle. Always good move. Do this all on low heat. And if it gets too thick, you can add a little bit of milk. Okay, now that we have that a little thicker, we're going to add the mushrooms. Mushrooms are chopped nice and small to get all the flavor out. And of course, adding in some peppercorns, not too many, just for flavor. And we're gonna let that sit for a little bit while we make the next part, which is the sauteed asparagus. Okay, so we're gonna make the asparagus sauteed with a little beef stock. So I'll put the stock in first. And asparagus in the pan medium heat. Add a little more beef stock. It should cover the asparagus. Let's do it right there and we'll let those cook as we get the appetizer set up. Okay, so we're going to make the appetizer which is going to be bruschetta, which is toasted roll or baguette. This is Italian baguette with tomatoes, garlic, oil, and some spices on top. Alright, so here we have the tomatoes, garlic and oil, add some spices, rosemary, oregano, basil, parsley, black pepper, and salt of course. We'll mix it up and we'll set it aside for now and later it will go on the toasted baguette. We're going to start making the steak, want it nice and medium rare. So, flat top pan with just a little bit of olive oil on medium heat. And just a little bit of salt on each one. Nothing else doesn't need it. Alright, so we're going to start off with the bruschetta. We have our three pieces for each plate, and our tomato mix. Use more tomatoes than this. Advice from the chef. This was not enough tomatoes. So as the steak is cooking, we're going to start plating everything. Start off, starting off with the asparagus, two to each plate. Get the steak and potatoes on here as well. And so this is why you use a pot with a handle. But here you have a nice two steaks with mushroom peppercorn sauce sprinkling on. Potatoes, roast potatoes in the oven, bruschetta, asparagus, and chocolate mousse. All for $40. Wine not included. <laughs>